Welcome to the garden. Today we're going to try and start a fire with this hand lens and this horse hoof fungus that I found on a birch tree. So I always carry this for filming and it gets really great close-ups. You can see this mushroom is like a cross between a fungus and a tree. It looks like wood. But I've broken this down nice and fine. Made a little mound. And with any luck, we'll be able to start a fire. Oh my gosh, look at how quick that is. In a matter of seconds, this has already smoldered. So I'm gonna really quick try and scratch up some material here. Hopefully we'll get a fire. You can see how little effort this is. I really just shaved off a little bit of this interior of the fungus. Nice fine material is always good. It gives you great surface area. But a big chunk of this is going to be fine because of all the tiny pores. It breathes so well. So that's why this works incredibly well. But we're just going to attempt to get this going with a little bit of help from some nice tinder here. Alright, we've got a good ember, so I'm going to pull our hand lens away. Try not to blow away the material while giving it enough oxygen here to start. Well, I'm sure if you were an expert, you'd already have it going. But look at how well this holds an ember. I mean, this is foolproof. Let's see if we can start this whole fungus. So with just a little bit of contact, We've managed to spread it to the fungus. And I imagine this could hold a flame or uh, an ember for quite a long time. But it's a little tricky to get a fire going. It takes a lot of practice. Whoops. Yeah, and I'm obviously no expert, but you can see we've got charred wood here, we've got smoldering embers, and in a matter of seconds, this tinder fungus lit up. So if you carry a little hand lens around for filming, it can also be used for emergencies. All right, that's as close as we're going to get. But I appreciate the views. Thanks for coming along for this little hand lens experiment with our tinder fungus. So I hope you give it a grow. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.